Hi, do you have the deathly fear that if you express yourself exactly the way you wanted and went out being wholly and completely you, that you would be burnt at the stake like a witch? Because Zane, not anymore, but I know exactly what it feels like. I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, the fear of being seen and basically how it holds you back from, well, getting everything you want, literally. It holds you back from achieving most of the things that you feel are impossible. And I'm going to talk about that. Hello, hello. My name is Janet. Welcome back to my channel. Tinaj is the channel. And I like to talk about my feelings, my thoughts, sometimes just random things. Like, I don't always do serious content. Sometimes I do um, just general day to day activities. I like to keep it lighthearted because I feel like there's already so much grime and ick everywhere. So it would be nice to have something relaxing and pretty. Even if it is a serious topic, sometimes it would be nice to have it look cute. <laughs> but um, today I wanted to talk about the fear of being seen and just like my journey with a fear of being seen because I too was terribly afraid of being seen and I did not want to be perceived ever by anyone ever. I've always been the type of person that likes to look at things on a deeper level, so obviously I wanted to talk about the fear of being seen from its more core point rather than just like the surface level. And you know, I could give you encouragement and be like, just go out there, just be seen. And sometimes it's, yeah, for most people it works like that, exposure therapy, <laughs> but for other people, it's not exactly that way. Like, it's not as easy as just throwing yourself out there because um, once something doesn't go the way you want, you're gonna like completely back off and just like never wanna be seen again. I've always just been someone who uh, notices patterns. I'm very good at pattern recognition and behavior in um, films or just, you know, I was that type of kid that sits in front of um, a tablet and just like, stares at it until they get a detail right and then can rehash it which is why I'm such a good artist <laughs> yeah and it's funny that now I can be up here saying that I'm a good artist because back then when I started art I wouldn't have the courage to just be like I am a good artist I would be like well I don't know guys I don't know <laughs> I guess I guess so I guess so because I just didn't know how to how to be seen. I didn't want to be seen. I didn't want to be perceived. Even if it was in a positive way sometimes, I would just be like, oh, keep your compliment. Like, just don't say anything about what I'm doing. Yeah, you can like look at it, but don't tell me what you think. <laughs> Which is crazy to me now because I, I look back on that and I'm like, why? Why was I like that? Because it's so dramatic. Like, it's literally never that deep. Nothing's ever that deep. Yes. So what is a core wound? Let's talk about the core wound that might cause, um, you or anybody to be afraid of being seen for me from my journey in life i realize it's not as much a fear of being perceived as it is a fear of being wrong or being bad i feel like most people that have a fear of being seen to some degree internally feel like they are a bad person not bad like they're evil and stabbing people on the streets but i hope not but bad in the sense of like you're just inherently flawed and there's something wrong with you and so if you put yourself out there it's like you're just kind of going to be opening a can of worms for somebody else to point out those imperfections that you already are aware exist that's a scary thought with core wounds like this they always start in childhood and i always tell people that like you know if you do enough therapy if you do or if you do enough like self-reflection or just you're into Kind of, like I said, I like pattern recognition. So it's easy for me to look at myself and see common behaviors so I can look at the patterns and find where the pattern started from. But um, if you kind of look at a lot of your trauma and a lot of your behaviors and almost everything you do and you just like trace it back, it's all most of the pain and the bad things we experience actually start from childhood. <laughs> crazy right crazy yeah most things that prevent us from being better people start when we are literally 
baby. Being born is just traumatic in general. Being alive is traumatic. At, at some point when you heal enough, you realize that you're actually meant to live a good life. Crazy, crazy concept. I know. We're supposed to be happy, right? Like, I bet you're like, oh, no, we're supposed to live a good life and be happy. Yeah, we are. <laughs> All the pain and like the cycles of difficulties just genuinely happen because of repetition in behavior but brain doesn't know bad from good so it just repeats what it knows so repetition in behavior period <laughs> which keeps us in in some terrible life situations when you look at the core wound it's usually that you're not really scared of being seen it's that you're scared of being persecuted for being seen you're scared of people eventually discovering that all the good traits you have are not good traits or that you're actually a bad person deep down when in reality no one's a bad person and it's it's wild to understand or you will think wow like no one's a bad person there what about all those like terrible terrible people like people are conditioned brains work differently and people are conditioned and really good and bad are such complicated things that if you were to have the empathy to put yourself in everyone else's shoes you really understand that good and bad is not really a thing if you were in the other person's shoes you probably would act the exact way they behave because you'd have the exact experiences they had in that body if you're afraid of being persecuted or being criticized and being wrong and just being not good or being outcast it's understandable to feel that way or to be afraid of that because we are we're animals like every other animal we're creatures of habit we're creatures of uh family and community so to be different means to be outcast to be different means to literally be kicked out of your pack of wolves and left in the snow to die that's what being different means so our brains are literally just trying to protect us but that's why you have to rewire hardwire that brain because yeah everything you want is on the other side of that it's almost like you have to go back to who you were and become a new person. Go back and you're like, um, what if instead of growing up around people that criticized me and wanted me to shut up, I can go back and be from a family that actually was interested in what I said. <laughs> I genuinely didn't believe the psychology stuff for a long time because in my head I was like, there's no way that you know just change like going back and just like trying to fix things from the core would help me or whatever like there's no way that would actually work like it's deeper than that i have so much pain but it actually is true and from when i changed a lot of things the trauma i had and like the pain i went through and i really like let go of it or was able to process it it took so much weight off my shoulders i started looking better first of all I started looking healthier, I started eating healthier, I started feeling healthier. I could do so many things that I couldn't do in the past because I was almost like, it, like I was incapable of moving almost sometimes and incapable of even getting up or walking or getting out of bed. My anxiety used to be so bad that I sometimes couldn't stand, like I would literally be unable to stand or to like do anything like brush my teeth like basic hygiene was like impossible for me to do because i had such bad anxiety when you look at yourself and realize that you have that what steps can you take after that to kind of set yourself free so when you finally understand that you are not just afraid of being seen by people but that you're afraid of criticism and all that stuff you can work on that by first of all trying to understand why you feel that way and understand why you catastrophize oh my god that words i always went to worst case scenario <laughs> like i never understood that there is both good and bad happening at the same time that life is not just supposed to be good and or bad it can be both good and bad at once so you can be achieving so many good things and some bad things can be happening it's the balance of the scale sadness negative feelings are not bad like they're actually just there to help you process a lot of things and usually when you get past the sadness you become way better than you were before you were sad because that's what the body does it like heals itself it's a very com the mind is complex 
like the mind is way more complex than we'll ever comprehend that's why we can't we literally don't even use a hundred percent of it we use such a small percentage of it because it's a very powerful thing it's able to process some intense grief and like heal you know it's like going through a surgery like look at uh bad days or bad encounters as going through a surgery literally open up your heart and you have to your brain kind of has to heal it back and be better than before look at grief as a good thing when you're going through it learn to not catastrophize when things are not going exactly the way you dreamed they would uh, understand good and bad things can happen at the same time and a perfect example i can give is literally for the people that watched my last video <laughs> i was talking to my sister about it but it was so interesting because there were obviously people who didn't like understand my takes and didn't agree with them which is perfectly fine cool like i know everyone's at a different in a lives a different life experiences things differently somebody in the comments didn't really understand or agree with what i was talking about which is perfectly good and i in the moment was like oop is like i was like if this becomes way more popular is everybody gonna like hate it like is everybody just not gonna understand what i mean and surprisingly there were other people that understood what i was talking about that kind of agreed with me in the comments as well which is crazy because that's a perfect example of how if you catastrophize it takes away from the positive things you could experience so it's not just bad things you experience so it's like maybe if i viewed the comment as a bad thing i would be like oh my god i should stop posting or i should not really get into this and like i would maybe not experience realizing that there's other people that that video would help so it's a perfect example of how there's good and bad happening equivalently at the same time and so don't catastrophize <laughs> And don't think the worst will happen when you put yourself out there. You don't know who will benefit from what you have to say. You don't know what value you bring to someone's life, who will be encouraged to keep going just because of you, or who will literally uh, wake up every week or every morning just because of something you've done. So don't be afraid to look and go out and talk the way you want and express your feelings. And even if they're not agreed with or they don't, it doesn't go perfectly well, that's an opportunity to grow. Like it's an opportunity to like open your mind to different perspectives or to just uh, understand that people will not agree with you or to find the type of people that will agree with you. Because you need to understand the more you try to fit into a box that isn't you or a character that isn't you, you're going to meet people and connect with people and date people and have friends who connect with that personality you've made and not the real you. So the moment you decide to be the real you and be seen, the people who actually can connect and match with the real personality of you will be there for you to connect with. It's important to not hold yourself back and not restrict your life because of uh, the possibility of, you know, maybe not going, it not going the way you want, you know. And even if it's not perfect, like, everyone's a learner. Everyone learns. We all go through life learning. Everyone's learning simultaneously. Maybe some are further ahead, but they need to learn in another department while other people are, you know, going a different way and need to learn in another department but the point is everybody is always learning and you are learning too so don't be afraid to look bad and look like a beginner don't be afraid to suck because one day you're not gonna suck anymore and then what so yeah if you stuck around for this whole video thank you so much and i appreciate all your support all the time i will try honestly i'm so bad with schedules guys adhd i am so bad with planning but i try to be like i don't think i have a day when i'll be like i'll be posting this day i just kind of like to go with whatever i'm feeling at the moment but maybe if more people are interested in a specific day like or waiting for a specific time then I'll, I'll be like okay i have to do mondays and or or just like mondays or something but right now i just kind of go with what what makes me feel happy at the moment thank you so much if you stuck around and if you like my video be sure to like it if you want to subscribe feel free to do that if not if this video was helpful just let me know or don't or 
you can do whatever and i would be so happy i'm just happy if anyone's happy i'm happy if everybody's happy and i hope you can take a chance on yourself and try something uh out of your comfort zone this week or this month if you're not ready but i hope you can try something that's out of your comfort zone and it can like boost your self-esteem when you finally get it right and you know it comes with a good feeling so i hope that your week goes well and have an awesome time